Hi, welcome to Jackie's Reviews. I'm Jackie. I'm going to do a book review on one of Pepper Winter's books and let me just say every single book I've read of hers I have loved. Now I'm going to be talking about the Indebted series. I'm not necessarily going to cover all of them. I'm just going to give like a gist of the story and there's multiple books in the series but I'm not going to cover every single book. I'm just going to kind of give like a brief overview. So our main female character's name is Nyla. She has a twin brother named Vaughn and she has like long black hair. She's super beautiful. She designs clothes for a living. She also suffers from vertigo really bad. So to try and make up for that and to help with like a lot of her anxiety issues, she's a runner. Like she she runs a lot. So she is going to like a grand opening for her clothes. I, I can't remember what they're called. It's like a designer conference or like a grand opening or whatever. It's her own designer show that that's going on. And when she's there, she meets this like really handsome dude whose name is Jethro and he's like just really hot and he kind of has like that edgy personality and she's just like, oh, this is awesome. Like maybe I can like be with him and you know, rah, rah. Because she does have like a kind of like a chat buddy where they just do like a bunch of dirty talk to each other and his name is Kite007 so she's never met him or anything. He like accidentally messaged her and they just started talking and kind of became friends but just came like over the phone texting sex buddies but they don't know each other. They don't know their names or anything like that. They just talk about like sexual stuff. So that's like most of her sexual experience aside from like a one night stand a couple years ago or something. Anyway, so she meets Jethro at her design party. Her dad, who's actually very controlling of her and doesn't really let her do anything in life, tells her she's allowed to go and like have dinner or get a coffee or a drink with this dude, which is very unusual considering how controlling her father is. So she's like, oh, he approves of this dude. Like, this is awesome. So they go out and come to find out Jethro is actually from a very rich kind of famous family named the Hawks and her Nyla and all the women in her family before her have to go and live with the Hawks and pay a debt that is owed to the Hawk family. She had no idea that this was a thing. She knew her mom like went away and vanished, but she thought her mom abandoned her. When all reality, her mom was taken by the Hawk family and kind of became their slave. So the day of her premiere for her design, her dad basically has to like let her go, tells her she pretty much has to go with Jethro and he's going to take her to his home. Now, there's a lot of things that kind of go on behind the scene. Like, there's people who do like fake pictures, like they Photoshop pictures of her and Jethro together to make it look like they're a couple. He like put something in her drink, so she pretty much is like asleep the whole time on the plane. And when they get to the estate, she's still really groggy. And it's basically like a kidnapping. I don't really know how else to phrase it. It's it's a really good series though. So when they get to the house, to Jethro's house, she is basically kidnapped and he will, there is like, there's physical abuse in here. There's psychological abuse. There is, um, there's acts of torture throughout the book. So to the Hawks, they want the Weaver women to pay back a debt that happened hundreds of years ago. And to pay that back, the Weaver women have to endure multiple different punishments, whether it's being flogged, if it's being almost drowned, there's a couple different ones. So every debt that they have to pay is some form of torture and some form of punishment. And this is basically 
all Nyla is told. She doesn't get told what each punishment is or what each debt is. All she knows is that she has to go through them like every couple months. She has to go through one. And when she is there, the first initiation is she has to put on like a maid costume. And basically everyone who works at the Hawk Estate is like a bunch of biker dudes who smuggle diamonds and she's only wearing a maid outfit and she's giving them like drinks and serving them food but they take their everyone she serves an item to they get to like touch her lick her kiss her it's um it's a very sexual series there is a lot of uh, sex involved or sex talk or sex scenes so if that's not something you're interested in I would definitely say this is probably not a good book for you there's a lot of sex in it I really do like Miss Winter's writing like I said I have yet to come across a book of hers I don't like I think this one definitely has like that Stockholm syndrome in it and then our main female character tries to do like a reverse Stockholm syndrome which kind of does work so you have both of them going on you have her who's kind of getting Stockholm syndrome and then you have him who's getting reverse Stockholm syndrome and they actually do like even though they are like mortal enemies or their families are like mortal enemies they do actually have legitimate feelings towards each other so it is um, very interesting because you have him battling like 29 years of basically brainwashing from his family saying like he has to do this to her that it's the right thing to do and then you have her Nyla who realizes that his family is evil and they've been you know torturing and killing and abusing like her ancestors for generations but she still can't help the fact that she feels this way towards Jethro. It's a very good series. I read it before a couple years ago and I'm rereading it now because I liked it so much. So anyway, I, I recommend it. You should read it. It's very good. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.